as of today, February 13th, 2024, do you have trust in those to whom you have delegated authorities in your agency? I'm in a trust but verify frame of mind. So I have, since uh, I arrived, been putting in place some of that which was missing. And in fact, you know, there were many excellent audit recommendations, not from the Auditor General, internally, that had not been imp implemented. 53 of those have been implemented. So there's catching up to do. I'm putting the pieces in place. I'm responding very specifically to the recommendations of the Auditor General and the procurement ombuds, and I suspect my own internal invest, uh, audit, excuse me, will come with more recommendations. So we're not there yet. We've put some things in place, some belt and suspenders in, in certain cases that I hope one day will no longer be needed. The lack of a clear yes is, is troubling. Um, when did you receive the preliminary report from the Auditor General? The preliminary report. Um, I received uh, the principal draft on August 3rd, and then I received uh, the uh, second DM draft in December. Between December and now, has and, there been any dis disciplinary measures within your department related to the draft you've seen from, from the Auditor General? And I'll just complete, and I also received a draft on the 18th. And your question is, have I undertaken a any, any disciplinary discipline? measures within your department or within your agency since you've seen the draft reports of the Auditor General's report? Uh, no. None, okay. Has any additional information been provided to the RCMP from your agency, from CBSA, since you've seen the draft reports from the Auditor General? So I am not interfacing with the RCMP, and the people that are are not reporting to me about their interface with the RCMP. If the RCMP wants information, and they may well have sought it, that is not being reported to me. Have you met they, with the RCMP? No. Earlier this week, we received a letter from you dated February 7th, 2024. Are you aware of this letter? It's signed by you referring to uh, Deloitte being in the penalty box. Signed by me? Yes, Do you sent us a, a letter to this Sharon? committee signed by Just you. Just one second, Mr. Nader, yes. Yeah, is, is this a letter that's been provided to the committee? Yes. yes. To the Public Accounts Committee? Yes. Yes, yes apparently has. It's dated February 7th. We received it yesterday from our clerk. Are you aware of this letter in which you... State the CBSA is unable to validate testimony provided Standing Committee on Government Operations that Deloitte was in the penalty box in the spring of 2020. Are you not aware of this so, letter? Yeah, so we, we are unable to validate that. And so you, I think the, the person who is alleged to have said it, my predecessor, also addressed that at committee. So you stand by that you're unable to validate that Deloitte was in, quote, the penalty box? I've seen no evidence no, I've, uh, of no, that I, statement. Okay, so, and, so and no, and you've, seen, you've seen no evidence because obviously... Emails aren't, are non-existent, documents are non-existent. But can you tell me with certainty that among senior executives at CBSA, there wasn't an unwritten spoken word that Deloitte was in the penalty box? So since I have been in this position, absolutely not. And I have seen no evidence that it existed before. And I would point to the testimony of the person alleged to have said it. Whose de emails are also deleted. Moving on, 1.74 of this document uh, from the Auditor General expresses grave security concerns uh, that uh, the cybersecurity assessments were undertaken by people without a reliability security status. Can you confirm to me today that all contractors and subcontractors have the uh, requisite security clearance across CBSA? So, um, Mr. Chair, I'm just going to address the reference to whose emails were also deleted. So, I, I, I don't I don't know that that's the case, and I don't know what that's in reference to, so I just don't want to let that hang out there. If there's if there's more precision, but I'm not aware of more emails having been deleted. Um, in terms of ArriveCAN, the names that were on task authorizations for people who did work had the requisite security clearance. Four names were found that were not on task authorizations, where security clearance could not be confirmed. Okay, M Mr. Chair, I want to, again, my question was, can you confirm today that across the agency there are no contractors or subcontractors that are operating without the requisite security clearance? Can you confirm that? So the information my ha that I have is that they do have the requisite security clearance. So 
If, if there's something in particular that you're referring to? I'm referring to across the agency. There is a appalling lack of documentation across your agency. Thank you, Mr. Nader. That is your time.